Okay, so we're about to go inside Target and I wanted to quickly explain this to you guys. We picked it up at the Northridge Mall. It's a little ticket and it has a child's name and then their sizes and like what they want for Christmas. They like put in their request and then that way their children um, get to receive gifts from people like us. So that's what we're gonna do today. I wanted to quickly remind them how the years before we would go to the Target, not even this, oh, that's so weird. Our lives always are, um, are cir circling around Target during Christmas time. So at the other Target um, in Marina, there was this other program where you would get to shop with a kid. And I think the reason they didn't do it this year was because of COVID, but I thought that would have been really fun. We did it twice in a row, right? And it was fun, huh? And I did it the year before that. But I, um, it's always good to get back during like these times, you know? Even if you're not um, as fortunate, always be grateful for the current life that you have and be thankful and just hope for better things and then they'll come your way. So um, let's go inside and go shop for Sophia. What, what's her name? Mine is Sophia, she's four. Um, she needs clothes and then she wishes for a Barbie and a Barbie house. So that's what I'm gonna buy Sophia today. And then John's gonna buy a diaper. <laughs> No, I'm gonna buy that. I got an old man. <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. <laughs> oh my no, god, that's a two-year-old named Daniel. Okay, let's right. go shop for them. Right. We're at the kids section, and we're looking for a key for a little two-year-old Daniel. You should use something that's gonna stimulate your brain. Yeah, I agree. You look at draws with water. You put water in these things, and it draws on there. Okay, so I'm gonna show you guys what I got for the little girl. She was asking me for a Barbie doll, so I got her this film director one. And then I got her this like veterinarian one. And then I got her this sticker coloring book, which has addition and stuff. So we're not just getting her the little doll effect. She needs to learn a few things. And then come here. John got the diaper, and then he also got this like little drawing set for him. Um, his person or his child was only two years old, so this is like right for his age. And then diapers, of course, because that's what her parents or his uh, his parents were asking for. And then these are like the things that are going into the ten dollars stocking. So we got some like aloe and hemp seed oil. Um, these are like two to three, I think. One fifty dollar, one dollar fifty dollar socks, which is also a good option. One dollar and fifty dollars. <laughs> one dollar fifty cents. And then we got all kinds of like different little candies. Which of course like one to one fifty. Um, we got some birth seeds. Yeah, actually all dollar each. Oh really? Mm -hmm. We got this bad stuff for a dollar. So we pretty much try to like stay like one to three. And then some other ones that are a little bit more expensive. Like these are, well these are three. But this one, this one's like seven dollars. But it's like specific for the person who we're getting it for. Which is John's brother. Oh and then look what we got for the cat. We each got them their own little thing. And I, we got this this one for Ruffle because Ruffle's this like chill like this little chicken there. We got this for Wrangler because he's really into fish. Like literally every time he has fish, he like steals it. And this one for Nala because it explains her. Why did you laugh? Why why does it remind you of Nala? Because she's lazy and she eats a lot. She is, dude. And then we got these. I'm gonna give one to my mom and one to my aunt. Um, she's gonna put it on her feet and her feet are gonna be like burning. Um, and then, oh, we also, we're also getting this for the little kid Daniel. Um, we're not assuming that he's Hispanic or whatnot, but any child nowadays... Is there an accent mark over the name Daniel? No. Any child nowadays should be able to learn more than two languages because it only helps them in the long run. Oh, and then I also got these other little ones for the cat. And that's pretty much... Hey guys, so this is a few days later, but I want to show you how I've assembled the stocking so far. So, like I said, the stockings were $15 over at Target, and so that was a little bit expensive. We checked out Dollar Tree at two different locations. Luckily, at one of the locations that we checked, they did have them in stock. And so these are some examples of like what we picked up at Dollar Tree, and mind you, they're only a dollar each, so they are a bargain. And look how pretty they are. They're so pretty. And there's like different types of variations too, if you guys wanna check that out before for the holidays but um just to give you guys an idea of what the ten dollar stocking looks like not all of them are all done some still need a little bit more stuffings in there but so far these are two of the, the i think 12 or 13 that we have that are pretty much done this yellow one has some socks that we picked up at target it has a chocolate this one has a little toner gum which we picked up 
for a dollar at the Dollar Tree. The Dollar Tree had all kinds of different little knickknacks. A chocolate, a $1,000 chocolate. Let's see what else we have in here. This little, oh my God, I messed it up. This little hemp and seed. This is what I showed you. We picked this one up at Target. Um, a lot a lot of this was picked up at Target. A lot of it was picked up at the Dollar Tree. Um, we added, and then we added like a bunch of candies to fill it up. Obviously the candies were not worth a dollar, so that doesn't count. Um, we have the little bath salts, the lip balm. Lip balms are a good idea for stuffings because during the cold weather, your lips get dry. The sanitizer, that's also something cute that you can add to your stocking. And then obviously more candy. So I'm gonna set that aside. Now let's look at the next one. So it has one of these face masks as well. It has a pair of socks, little otters on them. It has the little lip balm. That one's actually hemp. It has a chocolate, it has pop rocks two lollipops, and a mug specif specifically picked out for this person. So the mug was $5, I believe. Um, this one we actually picked up way before we were doing the stockings at Home Goods, which is so cute. It has Frida Kahlo image. And obviously it's Frida Kahlo because that individual likes them. So five, let's say six, seven fifty, And then I think this makes it like eight, eight, and then we're like at the $10 mark. So you have a little bit of like um, an area to go either a little, a few dollars overboard. If you don't want to, then don't. Um, it's all depending up to the gift giver. But since we do have a lot of family members and we're not like the richest people in the world. So but I thought this was gonna be a good idea to just give everyone stockings, fill them up with little goodies. And that's pretty much it. So this, these stockings are, were $10 and under. That's pretty much it. Um, this, these are all the stockings. Shortly, we're gonna go, or I should say, I'm gonna go turn in the gifts for the Salvation Army gift thing. And I showed you guys, it's the Barbies, and then John got the little drawing set, and diapers. Um, but that's pretty much it. Um, after that, that's all for this video, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for sticking and thanks for watching. If you enjoyed, you would know what to do. Hit the like, comment, subscribe so you can see more of my content. And yeah, I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye.